Hey everybody, it's Shannon. Yes, today I'm wearing a green dress because we're gonna talk about Python. Wait, what's the connection there? I guess, because like the snake emoji is green, so I figure like a green dress, Python. Yeah, I know it's BS. I just want an excuse to wear this dress. Anyway, yeah, today we're gonna talk about Python. I just finished my advanced Python course on Sunday. It was my final exam. To be honest, I didn't do too well on it, but my grade point average was enough so that I could like absorb the bad grade. You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. I really had to level up to do well. And that's what this video is about, is like how I leveled up for advanced Python and what we did, like what were the topics about and everything. And it's a community college course, so you think, oh, it'd be easy, it's community college. Mm -mm. That Python class, I would say, was comparable to some classes I took at Penn, maybe even harder. I would say it was harder than a lot of classes I took at Penn. But maybe it's just because I graduated more than 10 years ago and maybe just my, I don't know, I've just forgotten how hard it was, I don't know. And let me give you some context, right? So for beginner Python that I took in fall 2021, we could take the quizzes as many times as we wanted till we got you know, full credit or 100%. And same for like homeworks, you know, the teacher would give you a grade and if you didn't like your grade, you could redo it, resubmit it for full credit. So I think you just like participation in the discussions and, and you could like use other like sources, like open note, open website tests. Whereas this semester, uh-uh. Uh, you take the quizzes, you get one chance for the quizzes. They're proctored with this thing called Proctorio, which basically means your computer is filming you recording you while you're taking the test and you cannot use any other windows like any, you can't use any other electronic you can't have your phone there looking at other websites you can't have printed notes that was all she allowed us was like printed notes because like for code right but um yeah and then homework so you could submit it once your grade is your grade you can't submit it for full credit though there was one assignment i think one or two assignments she gave me extra credit on the midterm i think was 20 percent of the grade the final was 25 percent of the grade with advanced Python, I would say the second or third week of the course was a big wake up call for me. Um, first of all, it was a pain to get into this class. I think I had tried like six times. Like I was on the wait list to get into the class because I think there's only one section for advanced Python at SMC. And I would get an email notification that there was an open seat available. So I would go like right away as fast as I could, like go on, log on and try to add the class. And it was always full by the time I got there. I think it was a sixth or seventh time that I tried. I think it was maybe in January. I finally got a space in the class. And, and I don't know how many, maybe there's 40 or 50 spaces in the class, but yeah, I felt, so I felt really lucky to be there. Like after all, I had to work to, to get into the class that like I wasn't gonna give up easy. Though I would say, I think after the midterm, I, had a, I went to an office hours and I think around 10 people had actually dropped the class. Let's go through like what the topics were that were included. Um, week one, OOP basics, so object-oriented programming. Week two, inheritance. Three, image processing, so we use C image. Plots, so like matplot library. Pattern matching with regex, so regex, regular expressions. So that was a cool thing to learn. Uh, networked programs. Um, networked programs, I think that's when we also learn how to like scrape websites and things. URL lib, databases. So we use uh, SQ, um, SQLite 3. I had SQL experience before, so it wasn't a big stretch for that. Um, cluster analysis, machine learning, and the final. So that was the layout of the course. But I would say the big struggle, it was maybe around week two or three, I had a big wake up call, because I think we had our first quiz and I got like an eight out of 10. And I was like, what? I, you know, cause I'm like an A student. So getting 80% is like not okay with me. And I think in my first homework assignment, I got like a 4.25 out of five. And I was like, what? She's also very, like the professor is very picky about, or, you know, it's good. Like very, you know, you have to um, enclose everything in a main function and run it from that. Like, so don't have loose code or no floating code as she called it. But yeah, it was, I think it was around week two or three. I think, you know, when we had C image, I had to let, I was freaking out because it wasn't working on my computer. I had to reinstall Python. It was crazy, but I finally got C image to work. That was a big step, but it, it took me like hours. So I think that assignment, even though it was a small assignment, it took me like maybe like six hours to actually get C image to work. And then, yeah, I would say overall in this course, I spent like 10 hours a week, maybe 15, some weeks even more, which is just, it wasn't what I was used to. And maybe in like normal college or master's courses, it is like this, but for community college, I don't know, I just, I had never had a course 
at SMC that took this kind of time. So um, on top of that, you know, you also have to kind of learn to teach yourself things because like using Stack Overflow and things like that. Because office hours, I think, was like once a week. And, you know, when you're learning, it's, it's different when you're in person because you can just like raise your hand or I guess if it's live online learning, then you can raise your hand and ask questions. And, you know, whereas when you're learning something, it's like you have all these questions and you have to like Google or email the professor and then it takes time to get back and all this, you know, those back and forth. Speaking of raising your hand, like that's why I didn't do well in the final. So for the last question on the, the exam, I totally misinterpreted the question. So, I mean, if I had just raised my hand and clarified, I would have been fine, but no, I, I interpreted it a different way. So that's why like I totally bombed the last question and I didn't get a good grade. One more thing. So the professor that I had, uh, I thought she was great. Like she's very smart and I love that the class was not easy because it forced me to really level up and learn a ton and it really helped prepare me for my master's in data science. But I looked up the professor on ratemyprofessor.com or ratemyprofessors.com or whatever. And she had a 2.5 out of five. And I was like, what? And the interesting thing is like, I don't know, like y'all are liars, like whoever wrote these reviews because people gave her one out of five and then they said that the grade they got was an A or an A minus. And I'm like, that's bullshit. I know the distribution of, of grades in my class. It was definitely, we didn't have that many A's. Somebody got a two out of 25 on the final exam. And the top tags for her is like, okay, tough grader, test heavy, get ready to read, gives good feedback, lots of homework. And yeah, 53 of the ratings gave, 53 people gave her an awful, 29 gave her an awesome. So, and then like a few, and then like 15 twos and then a few threes and fours. So there was one review of somebody who did 87B, which is the class I did. Apparently this person was in her class a year ago. Yeah, he said he got an A minus, he gave her one out of five. I'm like, that's bullshit. A four hour crash course on Python from free code camp will give you a much better understanding of Python program. That's bull Yeah, this person probably did, did poorly in the class. There were some people I could see on the discussion boards, like they were frustrated, like certain things weren't working for them. You gotta troubleshoot and get stuff, I don't know. It's like, that's the thing is in this class, you didn't have stuff handed to you. And there were some times too where the PowerPoint, like the notes she would give us, maybe the code would be a little out of date, like different things have updated since this was published. And so you need a little bit different syntax. I go to run club in Houston, like me like three times a week. I go to like different running clubs or whatever. I would like come home around like eight, take a shower and then be at my computer. Like, cause I, I work a full-time job too. So it's like, you know, working on nights and weekends on this Python course. And though I will say it, it felt like sometimes the hours would go like minutes. Cause I would be like so into it. And like, I need to get this, this program to work and I need to like figure this out. And that feeling of satisfaction when like you run it again and it works and you're just like, yes. You know, yeah, overall, I would say it's a great course. It is fully online. So no matter where in the country or the world you are, you know, it's a uh, Santa Monica college, uh, advanced Python, highly recommend it. My favorite part, I would say the most memorable week for me was the game. So you use Pi game. It wasn't in the syllabus, but yeah, we had one week that was, we used Pi game and you have to create a game. Um, and mine was like based on game of thrones like it's a very simple game it looks like the the basic mario whatever but um i had like a khaleesi so and you're like the good dragon and the evil ice dragons and so you're the good dragon you have three lives so you have there's two eggs on the screen representing your other lives and if you get t um hit by an ice dragon then you lose a life and you hear like a little crack when the um that's an event right you hear a crack and the new and one egg disappears and you have another life and you throw flames at the um, ice dragons to get them to disappear. You have to get to the Khaleesi and touch the Khaleesi and then you win. And I mean, we only had a week to work on it. So I think I could have made it a lot better and done a lot of other things to it, but um, it was pretty cool. And like the sound, the Game of Thrones theme song is like playing as in the background, the music and the, the sound effects when you do the flamethrower. It's pretty cool. Oh, one more thing. So yeah, my final exam was on Sunday and literally the next day I was, I was feeling, oh, I feel so much lighter. You know, I don't have Python anymore. Like I have all this you know, extra time in my schedule or whatever. That afternoon is when I found out I got accepted for my master's to UT. So I was like, oh my God, I'm like so happy. Um, so definitely a lot more work and studying coming. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts and comments. If you've taken Python before, um, what is your experience with it? What are your tips and advice? 
Let me know your thoughts down below and please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.